been allocated less than 6%, which is not enough. Health experts say the allocation is not enough to implement the ambitious manifesto the government has for improving the country's healthcare system, more so maternal healthcare. KTN's Catherine Omwantho was in Korogosho, where expectant mothers are still spending 20 shillings for clinic checkups and are still paying midwives 300 shillings because clinics remain above their financial reach. Margaret walks as much as she can. This stabilizes her heart rate and strengthens her muscles in preparation for the birth of her first child. This way she can perhaps avoid a complicated delivery because she has no plans of going to a maternity clinic. <laughs> Margaret has never seen a clinic that offers free maternal health care since the inauguration of President Uhuru Kenyatta. She goes for checkups at the Babandogo City Council Clinic. This clinic, she says, has no maternity ward and alternatives charge between 1,500 to 3,000 shillings for delivery, a price not many here in Korogosho can afford. <laughs> On the day of his inauguration, President Uhuru Kenyatta announced that maternal health care would be free within the next 100 days. But it's been almost a month and down here in Korogosho, it seems that maternal health care is not free. An indication that making a promise is very different from implementing it. The costing of these things have been done by the experts and uh, I think which the ministry have the, the figures, I think which the treasury have and uh, uh, it, it should, could be something close to 15 billion. Shillings to implement this program annually. According to the budgetary estimates, the health sector has been allocated approximately 64 billion shillings. This is less than 6% of the estimated national budget of 1 trillion shillings. The Abuja Declaration demands that um, the budget of health sector uh, for any country should be 15% of the total national budget. And that's the only way we can achieve quality health care for all citizens. Dr. John Ongech, who is one of the directors at the Kenyatta National Hospital, tabled a proposal on how the implementation of free maternal health care can work. He hopes that by the time the budget is read, the estimated budget allocations will be reviewed upwards. Catherine Omwanto, KTN.